What up, y'all? I'm Naomi. And I'm Andy. We're a real-life couple and a real-life couple of comedians. You know Naomi from Two Dope Queens and Broad City. And Andy's written for everyone from Pete Holmes to Cedric the Entertainer. And we're also the hosts of the new comedy podcast, Couples Therapy, which features stand-up comedians who are close doing sets together about their relationship. You'll hear from siblings who shouldn't be roommates, married couples who hate each other's moms, and co-hosts who've become co-dependent. Episodes feature everyone from SNL's Sashir Zameda and Nailed It's Nicole Byer to Daily Show correspondents Ronnie Chang and Roy Wood Jr. Not to mention First Wives Club's Michelle Buteau, Danielle Brooks from Orange is the New Black, and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend's Rachel Bloom. And many more. It's like if therapy was funny and there wasn't a copay. Download it on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. On Planet Fitness, Kiss 108 Studios. Now back to Maddie in the morning. On Kiss 108. Ah, here they are. (laughs) We got uh, Donnie, Danny, Jonathan, and Jordan. Joey's ducking me. Did I ever tell you about he almost, we almost got into a fist fight on a golf course? Did I ever tell you that story? Every time we communicate. (laughs) Guy is a... Where is he? He's doing a play in New Jersey, and um, you know, he's got to protect that golden voice, that young oh, I know. So I, know. I go to Boston and get on the air with Maddie and Billy and Lisa, I'm never going to be able to do my play tonight. Uh, of course not. Of course not. Donnie, how you doing? Great. I'm happy to be home. Happy to be with my guys. And uh, happy to be with you guys. Yeah, where do you where do you stay? Do you, do you stay at home? I stay in... Well, I, I work a lot, so I, I'm mostly based out of St. Charles, Illinois. I work in New York, so I stay in New Jersey when I'm there in Weehawken, New Jersey, and I have a house here in Plymouth, Mass. So, I kind Oh, of you had a house down in Plymouth? Yeah. 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 Laying low in Plymouth. Wow. Yep. How'd you pick Plymouth? You know, I got a lot of friends there, and uh, it just it felt like right right for me. Us Dorchester guys don't make it all the way down to the Cape. We didn't have enough, well, that's what we didn't have enough gas money. You know what I mean? That's exactly what that's I right. was going to say. Right. Plymouth is for, uh, people settle in Plymouth when they're going to the Cape and then they just yeah. we ain't I'm going tired. Over that bridge. Yeah, I'm not going over the bridge. bridge. No. I'm just going to pull in the Plymouth. Yeah. 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 So Danny, what are you up to, brother? Uh, nothing much. Just with the family in Miami. Um, came up here for this little shinding here with the guys. Um, that's about it. I'm just with my family, hanging out, taking some time off. He's also a grandfather. Come on, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah. A grandfather on the block, uh, baby. Oh, right. no way. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I beat them all to the punch. So, oh, yeah. that is so cool. Uh, One kid. of the new kids is a grandfather. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, a big that's it. Right? <laughs> that is the coolest thing news, ever. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Boy, Danny. girl, what do you got? It's, it's a girl, Rose Elizabeth. Oh, Rose. That's a pretty name. She's beautiful. She's uh, already got my heart, and I'm a very lucky man. Got a yeah. great, great family. Oh, wow. Oh, my yeah. God. Sounds like a song in the making right there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Jonathan, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> well, that's usually an opening for, you know, to expand, you know. Don't you want to plug anything or anything? John's filming He's a good. TV Jonathan's show. good. Okay. Come on, John. He's filming yeah, a TV come on, show. Spill, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him uh, know. Yeah, I'm uh, doing a uh, series for HGTV right now. It's uh, called. <laughs> Is that the one where they have like peep the hoarders and all that stuff? No, 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 no. <laughs> that's the other channel. That's yeah. a t- no, that that's is a t- the channel, right? Doctor Ho- Hoarders is on A and E. I mean, A and E, right? Uh, yeah. H what? what? H- 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 HGTV. No, it's no. hoarders isn't on HGTV. It's that's on A and E. Oh, hoarders, hoarders, yeah. hoarders, yeah. That comes on right after my six hundred pound life, which is my favorite yeah. show. <laughs> I do. It's just I like the show. How does that happen? Uh, I don't I mean, know. How much? How do you get to be six hundred pounds? Oh, just lots some of cheeseburgers. Don't move. I can actually do the doctor impersonation very well. Does anyone watch the show, mm-hmm. uh, Doctor yeah, No? Yeah, no, we don't, don't watch. It, no. If you keep eating the calories, you're not qualified for the weight loss surgery, and you stop enabling him. <laughs> You're the oh one going to the store to get in the Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's like spot on. That's good. That's good. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Me? Do you have any impressions? Impression? Um, not off the bat. Not off the bat. <laughs> 
Jeez, who does the impression of the guy? How often do you watch the 600-pound life that you've developed an impression of the guy, <laughs> Donnie? Old, I'm married. We watch a lot of TV. We, we, oh, is that what it is? Yeah, uh, the part you just stay home. We work a lot, and then when yeah. we're home, we lay in bed and binge watch uh, lots of things, including that. And Dr. Pimple Popper and hopefully Jonathan's yeah. Farmhouse oh, Fixer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doctor, what'd you say? Dr. Pimple? Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a big yeah, one. That's a real oh, that's show. That's a big one. It's yeah. nasty. What? It's what? just a doctor, and they show yes. people. He just. She. That's she. That's a she. she. Yeah. She. yeah. Pop she cuts, pimples. yeah, cuts open cysts and squeezes it out right on the. Mm. It's it's awesome. But it's not. What really... is wrong with you? <laughs> You're a smart guy. <laughs> That's what you watch. That's what TV is for. The pimple man. popper thing. T- TV is for checking out. It's I. Hey, it's the same thing as watching the impeachment trial, man. It's like watching pus squirt all over America. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> I just binge watch uh, the, the, your show on TV. Um, Thank you. And uh, is that still on? You, you've got another season, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's Bill forgot the name of it yeah, just then. Yeah. That, that show. That show yeah. What's that show? Uh, you mean Blue Bloods? Blue Bloods. Yeah. Blue, Blue Bloods, Bloods yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. You know he watches I, I it religiously. I watch that show, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is or uh, something. Yeah. Wow. How does Tom Selleck look up close? Is he aging well? He's, you know, he's aging well. He's like fine wine. He's a... He's intimidating, though. I'll tell you that much. Um, he's a big man. He He's tall as hell. When I first met him, I got cast in the show. I walked in to meet him, and I was like, well, there's no way I'm his son. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have enough hair. I don't have a mustache. I'm like four feet tall. Um, but he's he's a great guy. He's He works so hard, and, uh, you know, he's he's an icon. I mean, the guy's he's outdone Magnum with Blue Bloods. You know, it's um, it's we've been on ten years and done like thirty or forty more episodes than he did on Magnum, which is wow like, to do that twice. Like Andy Griffith and maybe Dick Van Dyke and Carol O'Connor and uh, maybe one other person, Mary Tyler Moore, have done that like in the history of television. Wow, yeah. For those of you who are not old, right? Uh, those references. <laughs> that's that's, that's Don, before Doctor Don, Pimple Don, Donnie's sure. restaurant. Those those are references from early days of television, a long time ago. Mm. Yeah, Boy, that's yeah. cool. So you watch Pimple Popper, but you also have the classy enough to remember Mary Tyler Moore. Rest in peace. That's right. That's yeah, how we, that's how new kids roll, man. That's how we roll. Okay, plug time. Let's go. Here we go. That's right. What are you doing now? You're touring. We don't get you until when? September? Yeah. September the 19th. 19th? Mm-hmm. We're going to yep. be at Do-do-do-do-do. Fenway Park. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> now, what's the deal? Now, you guys are there one day after, one day before Aerosmith. Did you guys do this together? On, it's just a coincidence yeah, that it worked out it, that way. It, it, we were thinking about doing some stadiums this year, and we had a great tour last year with the mixtape tour um, with New Kids, Salt and Pepper, and uh, Naughty by Nature, and Tiffany and Debbie. It was a huge, hugest tour maybe we've ever had. But um, we were thinking about what to do this year, and then we were going to take a year off. And then Aerosmith reached out, and we're thinking about playing Fenway and then we said well why don't we do a night you do a night we'll just make it a Boston event and they added Extreme to their show we added Bell Biv DeVoe to our show and now we're just turning it into a, a Boston homestand um, hold on be- did you say Extreme is coming? Oh, yeah. Extreme and Aerosmith. Boy, yes. oh boy, that goes back. More than more. Well, those are local guys, right? Yeah, it's yeah. all local. So we're now we're going to pull out all the stops. Now we're we're dusting off everybody in Boston, hopefully <laughs> for this weekend, and making it going to make it a really really special event. Um, and I'm talking about everyone. Wow. There's already calls out to Marky Mark. I'm not playing around. We're going to make this shit Aww. epic. Yeah. And I just swore on the oh, radio. Okay. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm don't even bother I'm bleeping I'm passionate it. about this. I'm passionate. She... Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Did you just swear on my radio show? Honestly? There's a lot of kids out there listening. I'm not oh, sure if the boy. swear is actually more worse than talking about Dr. Pimple Popper yeah. Yeah. at, at no, 6 a.m. For those who, those who didn't hear what he said because we had to bleep it out, he was made reference to his uh, baby brother might be joining him on stage. And he said this blank is getting real, basically, is what we're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the blank. What does he do? Oh, he sings. Oh, that's what? right. He, I forgot. <laughs> I was just thinking of him as an actor. I forgot he yeah. sings. Yeah, he yeah. forgot. He forgot too. But <laughs> yeah, you think you get well? Who? What was the name of his band? 
Uh, the Funky Bunch. Funky Bunch, right. Yeah. Is that happening? They're still funky. They're still around, right? We're working on it. We're working on yeah. a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we just, uh, we're, yeah, you we're know, just announcing the show with you here, Maddie. So, you know, this is... We're not. Uh, we don't want to give away all the all the surprises and stuff. But we're we're gonna try to make it a special. Boston deserves no less than the most epic weekend ever, and and we're gonna do our part to make sure it's that. How's Did that? you just read that off of a piece of paper? <laughs> that was pretty good, Jordan. I gotta Jordan say, I don't mean to be critical. Phone up and I read his phone. <laughs> yeah, I stick don't to the critical. talking points, Donnie. Yeah, Stop Jordan, talking about uh, pus. Yeah, Jordan's not talking. It just is like whispering. Um, I don't want to criti- criticize your brother, but when he went on to become a giant movie star, kind of left the funky bunch behind. You know, the funky <laughs> bunch are going, where's mine? Yeah, I'm, I'm, just... Come on, we're not in the movies. Mm. Yeah, well. That would be big. There's no way you're bringing your brother. Yeah. Yeah. It really spans the ages, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. It tests the time. Just made twenty four. Yeah, just made twenty four cents off of that little tidbit. You played there. Thanks, guys. Yes, he did. Thank you. And you know what? I love your brother. He put me in a song. And when it comes to rhymes, I got several. No sleep. I'm up in the morning like Maddie. How about hey. that? That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's that of right. course wasn't one that wasn't released as a single. That was just deep on <laughs> an album side. track that yeah. never got played. Deep, but though. that's deep. That's deep. yeah. That's good well stuff. Well deserved. Well deserved, All right. Maddie. Let's get down to business. Tickets go on sale Friday at yes. Ticketmaster. Yep. Is your presale now? Presale what am was I, uh, started yesterday. The Red Sox presale is today, right? The Boston Red Sox presale. The presale. The original presale for us was yesterday. It was pretty epic. Um, it seems like everyone's really excited about the show and the public tickets go on sale Friday. And so we have, you know what we're going to do? We have tickets, right, Bex? Yep, we have them right We have now. those? Yep. Okay, because we have tickets for your show for for the weekend, for you and Aerosmith. Yep. 617-931-1108 is our phone number. Call at 25, gets those tickets. Donnie, Danny, Jonathan, Jordan, you guys are awesome. It's always great to see you guys. Come see us again, boys. All right, thank All right, you. Bye, guys. <laughs>